So hello, today we're going to be taking a look at the Minis Forum UM590, which is a mini PC which features similar specs to other things that we've looked at on this channel. Features the 8 core 16 thread Ryzen 5900HX, I believe. And it also comes with um, in the integrated graphics that comes with that. So here we go. Here's what it looks like. Rather small. Um, it definitely is interesting in terms that like it's got this weird pattern on it or whatever. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Besides that, you got two HDMI outs, 2.5 gig LAN uh, display, and then USB-C display port, microphone, all that stuff. So it's a pretty solid little PC in terms of that. You've also got your mounting holes in the back. Oh wow! So you get a stand to put it in, a rubber stand, which I find that that's the funny, that's the cool thing that I'm looking at here. But you get a stand to put it in that it fits into, and then that becomes like that, okay. You've got internal stuff, mounting brackets. Let me get my screwdriver kit, and uh, we'll take a look inside and see what we got there. I think this is kind of a poor design in my opinion, that you have to, in order to get inside of it, you have to go through and take off all the feet. So what do we have inside? We have our two 8 gigabyte 3200 megahertz dims. We also have hopefully, yeah here it is, the spot to put in the SSD here which looks like they have holes for you to put in there. Also, we have our 250, or I think 512 gigabyte DIMM as well. So, that sucker basically just sits in here now. But I would put a SSD in there, and then we can basically upgrade it. So it looks like everything's pretty accessible. I'm going to leave that in there, though, because I tend to lose these. Um, it's nice that they do include somewhat replacements. I wish the small ones, though, would be in there as well. So uh, let's boot it up, we'll try it out. Well here you go, everything's set up and uh, usable. Now, um, yeah, so let's talk a little bit about this mini PC. Um, this monitor is 4K, 60 FPS, or 60 Hertz, sorry. And um, it seems to run things pretty good. Now keep in mind you're limited by integrated graphics. I was under the illusion that there was actually a graphics card in here. Um, I think I was supposed to get sent a graphics card. Um, but this one doesn't, it's integrated graphics. Uh, so keep that in mind that it's doing uh, pretty much 60 FPS and 4K. Uh, max settings besides shaders uh, in Minecraft. And I think that's like good enough for rough gaming. This is really a PC that would benefit a lot from a dedicated graphics card because um, the CPU is definitely more of the top tier models. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Looks pretty good. Um, any complaints? I mean, it's smaller than some of the other ones we looked at. Um, some of the other ones that I've used for Minecraft servers, etc. Uh, the having the display on the comes default with Windows 11. I uh, I don't know how much of a fan I am of Windows 11, but um, if that's something that you're looking for, then of course we consider that as well. Now, um, some of the one of the biggest issues that you have with mini PCs a lot of times is that they get very loud. Um, the one that we use for uh, one of the Minecraft servers is like a dedicated server. Um, has pretty much the equivalent hardware. It's um, five, pretty much the same processor, got more RAM in it, and that thing runs very hot and it runs very loud. And um, I mean, while albeit we're not under full load, this is probably equivalent to the amount of load that you would typically see um, running a Minecraft server and specifically running our Minecraft server. So I find it very interesting that the that there is a difference in volume between this versus the one that we have down. It's actually the reason why it's hidden back there is so you don't hear it in the microphone because otherwise it'd be like super loud or whatever. Anyway, so I do want to give props to what props do. You're not going to get a mini PC that is completely silent. By nature, you are sacrificing your, you know, sound to shrink things down and make things hotter. Um, but it definitely does seem like there is a noticeable difference between how quiet this is versus competing models. I'll have to get the exact model what it is. 
Yeah, it's Morphine. It's the Morphine Mini PC or whatever. And that one's, of course, maxed out with a bigger SSD, etc. But for the most part, this is pretty solid. This is something that I would probably use as a server and probably keep it up more in the background just because of how quiet it is. It does pack a pretty large punch for just the size. And I think that really concludes everything that I want to talk about. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments. Like overall, I think the, the graphics, the built-in graphics and the CPU itself is pretty solid. Um, definitely laptop graphics. Um, they're designed to you know have the integrated graphics for the regular minute tasks, like your regular browsing tasks, and then the supposed to have a dedicated graphics card that it switches over to. Um, so yeah, it's pretty awesome, and I'm pretty surprised with how... It is kind of funny that the power brick itself is larger than the uh, computer, but that's of course... Uh, well, you're, you're, you're cutting out parts, so it makes sense. Just keep in mind that the brick is a little large. It's got to basically power the whole thing. Pretty plastic cover. Um, pretty plasticky. It does feel cheap in some places. Um, but I mean, overall, taking it apart, solid through and through. Um, recommended if you are looking for something that, uh, something enclosed. I definitely think there's a good possibility you could throw in a dedicated graphics card. Um, I did notice the one thing was that there was only one M.2 slot, uh, inside of there. And that basically means that if you want to go through and add an extended graphics card or add a dedicated graphics card, um, you, you have to basically sacrifice the M.2 drive and you have to basically get a SATA drive instead which is a rather big sacrifice, especially given that the CPU is pretty solid and um, pretty strong actually. So it's not something I necessarily recommend if you want, if you had to sacrifice your graphics card. If you, if you were looking to get a graphics card, you'd have to sacrifice the SSD, which is not ideal. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next review video.